Hello Remoters, how are you? Mr. Del Pazzo here with another video, drawing video. Today we're going to draw this funny little guy I found online. A little bird, looks like a macaw. Big giant eyeball. Looks very proud. Cute little guy. So we're going to draw this little, this little macaw. You're going to need a piece of paper, of course. You're going to need a pencil and an eraser. Make sure you draw lightly. The great thing about drawing a character like this is it's just a random little bird. So if it doesn't look exactly like the picture, it doesn't matter. It's going to look wonderful no matter what we do. So it doesn't really matter whether your paper is horizontal or vertical. I drew mine kind of horizontal, but um, he's about the same height as he is long, so it really doesn't matter too much. When I look at this picture, I always look like, try to find a great place to start. Sometimes I start at the top and work my way down, or the bottom and work my way up. In this case, I think I'm going to start right in the middle with his big, gigantic eyeball. Big eyeball. Mm. And then just kind of work our way out. That's what I think I'm going to do. I think we are going to do. So left to right, the eye would be in the middle. But we have to fit his body. So this would be the middle of my paper right here. I'm just going to, left to right, I'm going to go right in the center. But up and down, I'm going to slide just a little bit higher. So that's about where I'm going to start. We're going to try to make a nice round circle. If you have a nice little tracer, maybe you're, depending on what size your paper is, you could find a little tracer and trace around something that's round. I have a big whiteboard here, so I got to do it by myself. I'm going to draw a nice round circle, centered, but up a little bit. Bam. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not the best circle I've ever made, but it's okay. And he has a big giant pupil in the middle. So instead of drawing a little pupil, we're gonna draw a nice big circle inside our big circle. We made a donut. Congratulations, we're done. I'm just kidding. Now, I wanna do a couple little reflections in there, right? We wanna make the eye look shiny. We want a little bit of a light bouncing off. And all we have to do is draw little circles and we color it in, we leave it white. So I'm gonna do a couple different reflections inside the pupil. Not the big circle, but the little circle. I'm gonna draw a nice big reflection right there. And then I'm gonna come down here and draw a smaller one right there. I'm gonna color mine in now. You don't have to do it now because you've got a pencil in your hand. But later, when you're tracing everything and you wanna do it in black, you will color the smaller of the circles black, but you're not going to color it inside the two little reflections. So we actually just made four circles. A big giant one, a medium sized one, a small one, and a dinky one. So that's going to be my eye. And you can see it already looks like there's light reflecting off of it. That's kind of what we want. Now, on this side are all his big, beautiful yellow feathers, and this side he's got a big, gigantic beak. So I'm going to do the beak first. So I'm going to start right about here. It's not the top of my circle. It's not the side of my circle. It's sort of right in between. So right about, right about there is where I'm going to start my beak. My beak is almost like I'm making another big circle. My beak is going to go up and out and around. Almost like basically half of a circle, I would say. So far, it's just a circle party right now. Circle, circles everywhere. Up, out, and you can go as far over to the paper as you want because we're not doing anything closer to the side of the paper than his big gigantic beak. Now, I'm going to go up a little bit. There's the point of his beak right there. And now I'm going to draw a line that curves 
and it's going to go right up and touch his eye. Ooh. As always, if I'm going too quick, pause it, rewind it, whatever you have to do. Listen to it as many times as you need to. Watch it as many times as you need to. Pause it, catch up to me, and then push play. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. That's his top beak. I told you it was big. Now we have to do his bottom beak, which is much smaller. And all we're going to do, see this little line that we just made right there? I'm going to start right in the middle of that line. I don't know if you can see that. It looks, it's so gigantic to me, but then I look at my iPad and I see this little tiny thing. I don't know if I can get you guys closer enough. See a little line? We went around, and then when we came up, that line, I guess, boom, 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 halfway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over, curl up, and go right to the eye. We have like this little shape right there. All I did was just, that first curve that I made there, I just kind of copied it. Except the second one is just a little bit bigger, that's all. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna make his bop. So the first thing I'm gonna do, he's got a couple little ruffled feathers right under his chin here. Out, in, out, in. And you can make more than two if you want. The picture has two, so I'm gonna make two. Okay. Now I'm gonna make his chest from my feathers. So I'm just gonna curve down and right about when I'm under my eye, that's where I'm going to stop. Another curved line. Lots of curved lines on this drawing. So you should have quite a bit of room between the eye and this line here. If you have a little bit of paper left, the only thing we're going to put below the line I just made are going to be a couple little legs. So if this line on your paper is a lot closer to the bottom of the paper, you're fine. You're in good shape. I'm going to have extra room at the bottom. Now, next thing I'm going to make is his wing. His wing is going to kind of be like a big raindrop. It's going to be really wide on one side and pointy on the other. So the pointy part is going to be way over here. So what I'm going to do is from this line, I'm just going to make a nice big curved line that goes up, around, and down. You can see what I mean by a raindrop. Pointy, wide, kind of a raindrop that's fallen over. And that's going to be his wing. If we want, we can even add like a little feather. You can do whatever you want. You can make this, this wing as detailed as you want. We could add little feathers all over the place like that, little triangles. Right, I do a couple little swoops, little feathers that go up in there. On the picture, they've got kind of like this little bump right there. Just little tiny cartoon little tricks. So that's his wing. Now we still need the back of his neck and his back right here. We don't have anything right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up right out here in the, on the eye, on this side of the eye. And I'm going to make a line that kind of curves down. And I'm going to swoop out a little bit and touch the wing right there. Swoop down, swoop out, and you can see there's his body. There's his chest. There's the back of his neck. And if we want to make, we can make some, some little feathers there if we want. Make as many feathers as you want. Very nice. Right under this wing, about in the middle of it, pretty much under his eye, I guess, we're going to make his little tiny birdie legs. So I'm going to make one right here. I'm just going to go down. Two little skinny lines. <laughs> A little tiny birdie leg. And in this line, I'm going to go straight over and then curve down. Boom. Okay, and in this one, I'll go straight over. 
So the top part of his foot, I don't know if you can see that. I guess you can. The top part is rounded where his toe would be. And I'm going to make another toe peeking out of this. So I'm going to go right on top of his foot. I'm just going to go over and make another little toe peeking out from the other side. And I'm going to do another leg right next to that one. I'm going to go over and down, across. And if you want, you could give them little claws. Like birds have claws. The picture doesn't, but we don't have to follow that. Little triangles, little pointy little toenails. Very nice. So the only thing I have left to do are his tail feathers and his feathers coming off his head. And we can make those as big as we want. The picture, they're like probably bigger than every other part of him. So I'll do my tail first. I'm going to come right up here, kind of where the body meets the wing, which is right about where my finger is right there. That's where I think I'm going to start my tail feathers. Any higher, they're coming out of his back. So I'm just going to go, they're kind of like big, long triangles. I'm going to go way out and then curve down. And then I'm going to make another one. I'm not going to go all the way back here. I'm going to start it right over here. I'm going to go out and come back. And I'll make one that's a little smaller out and back. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna make some small ones at the bottom. Out, back, out. And my last one will touch the wing. So it's just a bunch of triangles. That's really all they are. You can make more, you can make less, you can make them longer, you can make them shorter. I tried to make my tail feathers get a little bit smaller toward the bottom. Otherwise, he'd be stepping on them. I don't want them too low. And if you want to get fancy schmancy, you can put some little details in your feathers. Up to you. You can put as many lines as you want in them. Up to you, up to you. And now my head feathers, right? The big whoo, poof. I have a cockatiel. Those are the gray birds with yellow on them, and they have little orange circles on their cheek. And whenever I talk to her, her name is Maggie. Her feathers go, they stick straight up. So, this could be a parrot. This could be a cockatoo. It's hard to say. So now I'm going to start right about on top of that eye. Right up on top, right in the middle. And I'm going to make a feather that curls and then back. He looks like a unicorn. And I'm going to make one that's a little taller. Mm -hmm. Notice when I start my next feather, I don't go right at the bottom. So I don't end up with feathers that look like this. I like to overlap them a little bit. So I start a little bit higher. Kind of gives us that look of it's overlapping. They're on top of each other. We know it's a cartoon. We want to do some little tricks to make it look a little bit real. And then I'm going to make another feather that goes out whoosh, and then back. Mm. Okay. Now you can do as many of these as you want. I like to curl them just a little bit. Notice how I started in a little bit. It's starting to look like a bird. Nice big one here. Back. And then out and back. I could probably fit one more maybe. Come in a little bit. Out and right back. And you're it's gonna touch pretty much where his eye and his body meet. Right about there. And again, 
if you want to do a little more detail on your feathers, you can. If you like the way they look there, that's fine too. Now your background, right, that's where your bird is. You can just do something very, very simple. Get a little grass. Or it could be something simple. You can put, maybe he lives on a farm and there's a farm behind him, or hills, or whatever you want to do. You can do whatever you want in the background. Completely rolling hills, whatever you want to do. You can have a sunset. Our background tells us where he is. What's he doing? Hopefully he's not in a cage somewhere. He's out hanging out. Maybe he's sitting in a tree. Maybe he found a worm. Uh-oh. Maybe that's why he's smiling. It's lunchtime. I hope not. Uh-oh. So let's see. Let's see how we do. What do you think? How do we do? Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like him. Now, you can color this however you want. Of course, the first day, right, which would be today, we'll draw the whole thing. And you can outline it now if you want, or you can wait until your next art class. Usually our videos are two classes. The next art class, you can either outline it with a marker if you have one, a skinny marker. Usually with cartoons, you can see here these lines are nice and thick and bold black. Makes it easier to see. And in the next class, you would color him in. And you can just color him, or you can color your background. You can use crayons, colored pencils. Maybe you want to blend colors. Maybe you don't want, you don't want to do a yellow tail and head feathers and a wing and orange little feet. Right? He doesn't really have any colors on his body at all. So you can color him however you want. And then maybe you want to color a little bit of a background. Maybe show us where he is. Okay. And after that second class, when you're all done, make sure you send me a picture of him in Seesaw or Teams, whichever platform your class uses. And I promise that I will get back to you and I will send you a message and tell you how wonderful your giant-headed, big-eyed, big-beaked bird is. I'm sure it's going to look amazing. And hopefully the worm's going to be okay. It'll be okay. I think so. Okay, guys. I will see you later. I miss you guys. We'll see you at the next video. Bye.